you know, I think for a lot of people, as they get more and more successful, we see the ego can take over. Yes. People become very attached to their image, to how cool they are. There's a lot of external markers that, you know, I'm sure you have a lot of trophies and there's pictures of oh, your I have a trophy room. And, you know, yeah, all of that. Yeah. It's a challenge as we become more successful yeah. to keep the ego in check and go, you know what, <laughs> it's, there's, there's more important things than me and my, you know, how wonderful I am. Yeah. Did you ever get challenged with that? I mean, what, what did, how did you deal with that? Well, you know how you say, and I 100% agree with you, the quality of questions determines the quality of your life. Well, the quality of your life is determined by the quality of people you're surrounded by. Yeah. So I've always been surrounded by great people. I've never been surrounded by life vampires and dream yeah. thieves. But well, I've always you, been... You've, you've, <laughs> if, you, if you saw them coming... Oh, yeah, go, I run the other way, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, wear, I turned into a werewolf. That's, it's not a coincidence that you weren't surrounded by them. Of though. course not, yeah. because growing up in Manly, yeah. for example. I just want okay? to make sure we're clear on that. I you grew weren't up, lucky. I grew up, I don't believe in luck. No. There's an element of it, but it's fortunate. No, no, absolutely. I was very fortunate. My life has been dictated by the choices that I've made. I take full ownership and responsibility for my successes and my failures and the people I've upset and the people that have joined me and that I've celebrated with. Yeah. I take full responsibility for every one of those decisions that I've made. So therefore, I can't go into the ABCDs of negativity, which is what John D. Martini talks about. So when you're in a state of frustration in the ABCDs, you're angry, yeah. you start with anger, you get really angry at yourself, angry at the world. Then you start blaming people. It's your fault, you let me down, you upset me, you did yeah. this to me. Actually, you chose to feel that way. Yeah. Then you start being criti critical, you start criticising people and criti uh, critical of the world and you're left in a state of despair. Yeah. Now I've been through those moments, I'm aware of <laughs> what that's fun. like. It's not it's that not fun. fun. You want to change it very quickly, get dissatisfied. It's the mm. precursor to positive change. Mm. The people around me have enabled me to achieve the success that I've achieved. If you have been programmed by society to believe that self-improvement and success can be achieved on your own, then yeah, you're delusional. So true. We're we all can, here because we've stood on the shoulders. Well, of it, yeah, we go so much further yeah. together than we do alone. We do. But the thing is that when we experience challenges and disappointments and we start to feel vulnerable, that's when we become silos. Yeah. And that's actually when you need to open Most up and reach out. out.